Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Saturday, and I'm going to be doing an airsoft gun review. With DZ recently, Monster 23. Yes, with special guest slash current cameraman DZ Monster 23. Um, yeah, I recently bought a D-Boys M4 carbine from airsplat.com, and I'm really liking it so far, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the gun. It's got a full metal body except for the plastic handguard, pistol grip, and LE retractable stock. And it came with a high cap mag, which is really nice. And I think it has a really smooth mag release on it. And it just pops right out. It's very, very convenient. Um, very easy to use. And um, I'm kind of a beginner to airsoft. This is my first gun. So I'm going to pass the camera on to uh, someone with a little bit more experience, and that is DZ Monster. I'm going to trade places with him for a second here. There you go. Tell him what's up. All right. First off, this is a pretty nice metal body. I don't know what kind of, I think it's a metal alloy, I'm not sure what kind of metal it is. But, you got your standard safe, semi, and auto firing functions. I'll work from the front to the back on this gun. You got the blazing orange tip, just like all other airsoft guns. If you guys want to put like a, a suppressor or something on it, uh, you could remove the that little screw right there. It's a hex screw, I believe. And um, twist with socks. This gun has a counterclockwise thread, so uh, some kind of suppressor you need to get. This gun came with an included sling mount for the front sight. We haven't put it on yet. It's a pain in the ass. There's no directions or anything, and it's kind of put together already. But it can either go on the left or the right of the triangle sight, whatever you prefer. This gun came with a 1200 milliamp battery. Um, came with a charger too. Uh, it's a 350 output charger, I believe. The delta ring on this gun, it's full metal. It's really nice. This gun has a working charging handle. Pull this back, dust cover opens, reveal your hop up. The hop-up is fully adjustable. Turn it clockwise to make the DB go up, and counterclockwise to make it go down. The gearbox, as you see right here, it is a 7mm bearing, full metal, reinforced. Really nice. And forward assist on this gun. I believe this is plastic, too. You just push it. It doesn't do anything. It's just there for fun on your front side carrying handle. You got wind engine elevation. Just turn that and your front side will adjust. There is also a normal sight for this gun. And you could flip it down, which is a smaller sight for more accuracy. All right. This gun also has a removable carrying handle. Take these off, unscrew it, then you can take it off. And then, uh, now whatever optics you can prefer, like a hollow sight, a red dot, a scope, whatever you want. This gun also has a full metal buffer tube, in case you guys are wondering. And there's a sling mount on the back, just like all their LE stuff. Alright, right now we're going to be doing a firing test at that can right there. There's a can hanging from a tree over there, and then another one out on a stick by that gigantic tree. And I'm going to let Mr. Saturday do the firing test. Thank you very much. We're going to switch again. Now, I'll let you know when I hit a can, but um, you might hear the sound. I'm not sure how good the mic on this camera is, but you might hear a hollow sound if I hit the can. And we're going to start off on semi-automatic. Um, I was practicing with this earlier, and it seems to be very accurate. All right. Um, so we're gonna try it out. His FPS is to 350 with 0.2s. I'd have to say it's 300. He right now because he's using a 0.25. So. All right. Here we go. First shot. Cans down. Now we're gonna go for the medium range one on the hanging on the tree here. 
and I hit the end of the tree limb, which caused the can to fall. Um, yeah, it was a very close shot to the target, but I guess there's no point in shooting at it now. So we're going to go for the long range one up against the tree here, and there's a little bit of a breeze, but it shouldn't matter much. Hit. Yep, and I need to spin this little wheel on the bottom because it's a high cap mag. That should be good. Alright, let's keep on shooting. And we're going to twist that a little bit more. And then we're going to switch to automatic. I'll show you how fast it fires. Here we go. We're just going to shoot the long range one since the close and medium range ones are already down. So we're just going to keep shooting at that long range one. As you see, this gun is very accurate and has a very nice rate of fire. It's 900 rounds a minute. Yeah. And um, as you saw when I was, you may or may not have seen, I'm not sure once again about the camera, but um, when I was firing on automatic, they were very closely grouped together. Um, I think this is a very highly accurate gun, and even though this is my first gun, I would highly recommend it. Um, of course, uh, we're going to listen to DZ's opinion about it, because he's more of a, a master at it than I am, of course. Alright, this is a very nice gun. I could tell it's already reliable. It has the full metal hop of the reinforced gearbox, and it's going to last a while. So, um, thanks for watching. This has been DZ Monster, Mr. Saturday. Um, I hope you liked this review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright, see you guys later.